All right, so if you're watching this, this is the video preview, the setup for AI, Civ 4 AI Survivor Game 8. This will be the last game in the opening rounds. Uh, after that, we'll, be, go to, we'll do the wildcard game and then following that, the playoffs. So for this game, we have seven AI Civs. Uh, one of our larger fields. They have ended up with this map, which I love this one. Uh, I had to roll a lot, but I found this one that I really like. The AIs are in kind of a big ring in the middle of this continent with then like some, this weird <laughs> territory off to the left uh, and some tundra back lines in different areas. So we'll just go around clockwise with the different AI leaders that you've got here. In the Northwest, we have Napoleon, one of the two French leaders in this game. And we have two France, like I said, two Frances. There's that capital. Looks pretty solid. Uh, here in the middle, we have Frederick of Germany. He has um, been given this green color. This is not the Aztecs. This is Frederick of Germany. That's to make it stand out. His gray colors did not stand out very well from the sieve next to him before. Over here in the northeast, we have de Gaulle, the other French leader. I have chosen to give de Gaulle white borders. You can make your own jokes about surrendering that way. Uh, I needed to give him another color, so I gave him white for this map. Um, he has been the worst leader the first two seasons of Civ War AI Survivor. We'll see how he ends up doing here. Uh, here on the eastern edge, we have Boudica, one of the two Celtic leaders, although the only one in this game. Um, she looks like she has a pretty good start with that wet corn there and a lot of forest to chop. Down here in the southeast is Hatshepsut, uh, the, one of the two Egyptian leaders in Civ War. Creative, spiritual, some nice traits. That's a very nice starting position. We'll see how she does from that. In the southwest, we have Pakal, the Mayan leader, only Mayan leader in this game. Also, it looks like a pretty nice capital. Um, good stuff for financial trade there with the floodplains. And then finally, here on the western edge, we have Shaka. We've given Shaka red borders, as we did last year as well, to distinguish him. One of the most aggressive leaders in this game. Actually, we have quite a few high aggression leaders here. Shaka, Boudica, Napoleon, all high aggression leaders. And that's what we end up with this game. So that will be our setup here. Uh, if you want to get in a prediction for this game, the picking contest, as usual, will be linked below this video description. So feel free to check it out. The game will be a week from today as I'm recording this. It'll be Friday, September 29th. Uh, it'll start at noon Eastern time, which is the same time we've been doing these. So that will be, yeah, that'll be the story. We've been doing this for a while now. And like I said, you, this is the eighth game of the opening round. And after that, it'll be on to the wild card game and the playoffs from there. So uh, we hope that we'll see you guys. Hope that we'll see a number of you there. We've been having great turnouts. The picking contest was a lot of fun. Game seven had a really ridiculous ending. So you may want to read the, read the report on that or watch the Twitch video. Uh, for that particular game and how that one went down. So until next time, hope you guys are doing well. Have a great weekend. I'll see you again soon. Take care.